Oh, and actually, actually, a picture of the anomaly. It actually looks pretty. It does. Yeah, the next SCP is a Decomposing Love, a.k.a. 4168. Object Class Euclid. Yeah. Item SCP-4168, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4168-1 and-2 are to be kept in humanoid containment, cell modified for the cohabitation of two individuals with Insight 17. 4168 is to remain in the care of Dash 1 except for testing purposes. Dash 1 is not to be more than 2 meters away from Dash 2 at all times, include excluding testing periods. Dash 1 and Dash 2 are to be sedated when the other is being interviewed for the duration of the interview period, but are to stay next to one another. Social media posts made by Dash 1 have been hidden from the public view and stored in the Foundation Web Archives. Update as of uh, March 30th, 2019, due to Dash 2's uncooperative nature pertaining to containment protocols, Dash 1 and Dash 2 are to be handcuffed together except, during, except for testing periods. Update as of April 3rd, 2019, due to Dash 2's con continued violent tendencies towards Dash 1, is remain is to remain in a medically induced coma for the foreseeable future. Dash one and dash two are still to remain handcuffed together at all times in the case that dash one shows refusal of following containment protocols. Oh look, we actually have that uh, dash one and dash two. A picture of them. They look like normal humans. Yep. SCP-4168 is a ring with a heart-shaped opal stone. 4168's anomalous properties currently only manifest when worn by Dash-1. Dash-1 is a 23-year-old woman named Mary Ang. Dash-2 is a 24-year-old man named Simon Lang Langson. <coughs> Dash-1 experiences decomposition of the body starting with with the heart if either dash 2 is not within 2 meters or if 4168 is not worn. Dash 1 is wearing 4168 but it is not within 2 meters of dash 2, it will experience decompensation and vice versa. During testing, dash 1 was separated from 4168 and dash 2 for a period of 5 days. The longest test Long as such tests conducted, at the end of this period, Dash 1 had large abscesses covering approximately 70 of her skin. Additionally, its heart, ribcage, and other internal organs were partially exposed due to the advanced decomposition of surrounding tissue. Dash 1 reported severe pain, but was not otherwise impaired or in danger of death. Upon returning, 4168 and Dash 2 to the presence of Dash 1, these changes reverted subsequently in a reverse order that they appeared on a similar time frame. The injuries caused by 4168 can only be viewed on film or video by Dash 1. For others to witness 4168's effects, said individual individuals must be in physical presence of Dash 1. Upon being questioned, Dash 2 has refused to reveal any information about the origins of 4168, only briefly making statements that led researchers to conclude that it was aware of 4168's anomalous properties prior to gifting it to Dash 1. The interview has been added to SCP-4168 Supplement. Okay, I'm going to click on that real quick. I don't know what that is. About blank blot. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? I did not mean to do that. Well, I can't even go there. <laughs> I don't. Well, oh well. <laughs> Addendum dash one. Dash one and dash two has a significant online presence prior to containment through a YouTube channel called The Sweet Cheeks Duo which has a significant amount of posts pertaining to 
4168 and its effects. 4168 came from the Foundation's attention when the news reports of a popular YouTube personality being hospitalized for unexplained and sudden decomposition began to spread. Along with hospital reports of an unusual medical condition, following investigation, Foundation researchers found several videos and social media posts made by Dash 1 and Dash 2 discussing 4168, including deleted videos retrieved by digital trackers. Below is a series of transcripts and excerpts from YouTube videos relating to 4168. Wait a minute. Before I go back, I want to try something. Give me a moment. I wonder if I can open it up on my phone. Um, Bookworm, you're just going to get... Oh, it's a JavaScript. No wonder why it doesn't work. <laughs> it's probably an old Java file. Let me look it up. Just didn't look random Java shit. <laughs> Oh, it, Why, it was posted on YouTube, I think. No, it wasn't. God, heck it. What did it do? Well, I saw something with the exact name of the file, but instead of going to a file or anything, it went to Dr. Lucius. Oh. I guess we'll see them at some point. All right, video title, Sweetest Finance, oh, wait, Sweetest Fiance Ever Gets Fiance Amazing Gift. Upload date, February 16th, 2019. Transcript from 203 to 538. SCP-4168-1. So, anyways, as stated as... In one of our recent videos, Dash 1 points to the top corner of the screen where a video link to a separate video has been added to end post, which you can check out here. Simon's been planning a big surprise for me to celebrate our recent engagement. SCP-4168-2. Puts his arm around the shoulder of Dash 1 and smiles. That's right, baby. I tried to get him to give me a hint because... But because he's a big oaf, he wouldn't tell me. But anyways, today he's gonna give it to me right in front of you guys. Dash one holds his his arms up in his, in excitement. SCP forty one sixteen dash two removes its arm from around dash one, stepping away from it. Okay, so cover your eyes, Murray. Hey, really? Dash one playfully sticks out his tongue at dash two before doing what was requested. Okay, so I know it might be a little weird since I just posed last week. But I just had to get you something extra because I know Valentine's Day and all. Even it's a bit late. Pulls out a small gift bag, presenting it in front of Dash 1. Open your eyes. Dash 1 takes the bag from... Wait. Huh? Dash 1 takes the bag from Dash 1? It was probably a uh, typo. Yeah. Takes the bag from Dash 2 before pulling a small box out of it, throws the bag to the side, then opens the box. Oh my gosh, Simon! Dash 1 removes SCP-4168 from the box and slide it, slides it onto its right ring finger, then positions its hand in front of the camera to showcase 4168. Can you guys believe this? It's opal. That's my favorite stone. Wait, it is opal, right? <laughs> yes, little bit. Of course it's opal. I hope you don't think it's strange that I got you a second ring. Of, of course not. Now I have two rings that represent your love for me. It's like double the love. I can already think of that. Video title. Wedding planning is such a hassle. Look up emoji, two hearts emoji. Upload date, February 16th, 
February 20th, 2019. Transcript from 507 to 749. SCP 4168 1. Yes, I totally, totally agree we should have a patina of flowers at, at our wedding. My sister said it, it's, that's not a traditional wedding flower, but. SCP 4168 2. Interrupts uh, dash 1. Those flowers have always been my favorite. She wanted to have my favorite flower. Exactly. That's what I told her. Anyways, it's never in late bed. I uh, fit. But I'm going to go out with my sister to, to try and start playing the, the bachelorette party. So it's, it's kind of busy playing a place to meet up at. But Simon assured me he'd take great care of the channel while I'm gone. I'll film videos on my phone to upload his vlogs later, of course. I've also been feeling a bit weak when I'm on my own lately. But I'm sure it's just a free wedding jitters. That's what I keep telling this little world what. Dash 2 playfully punches Dash 1 in his shoulder. Dash 1 grimaces and holds his shoulder with his hand, but quickly follows actions with a laugh. I told you to be gentle. I've been feeling a little sore, honey. Dash 1 smiles playfully. Well, you know what that could mean. Shh. That's for another OW video. Okay. Video title. Please watch in parentheses. Update on our wedding. Upload date. February 26, 2019. Transcript from 0 to 340. SCP-4168-1. Dash one. Dash 1 is frowning but smiles once it realizes the camera has been re has begun recording. Hey, my little sweet cheeks. I know I said I wasn't going to post anything to my channel until I, I came back, and I know I promised fun things, but something sort of strange has been happening. I know I was going to say this for the video with Simon, but, like, we've known I was pregnant even before you posted me, and at first I thought that was going on. You guys may have, have noticed some comments about that. SCP-4168-1 positions the camera to show a wider view of itself. I'm pretty sure abscesses in right and skin is not a symptom of pregnancy. Dash 1 points to its left arm, just turning to its arm, claiming that it's injured, although no damage is visible in the recording. I mean, have any, have any of you that have been pregnant or know someone that has experienced this? I was just saying, he said that maybe I just caught like flesh-eating bacteria or something. So I'm gonna go to Doc and have checked out. I just wanna let you guys know. I might have I might be gone a little bit longer than originally planned. If you know anything about these symptoms, please comment and let me know. Stay sweet. Video title Am I going insane? Upload date March 6, 2019. Transcript from 0 to 404. SCB 4168 1. Okay, very funny, guys. I get that normally you're, we're not serious and stuff on this channel, but I'm not joking about my skin writing. Look at this. I can literally see the bone. I'm in pain and it hurts, and I don't know what's going on. Dash 1 shows its arm to the camera, but no injury is visible. I'm not editing this out. I'm not trying to be funny. I want help. I'm in the hospital right now. I can barely walk. I'm not even supposed to be recording. Simon says he's on his way, but doesn't seem concerned. Don't worry, I'm just overreacting. I mean, my ribs are starting to show. I'm worried about my baby, and the doctors have no idea what's happening. They say it's not a fungus. I know I've never talked about it because you guys don't want to see us fight. But he, he's, he always does this. He always tells me I'm overreacting. He said I just need to listen to him, and things will look up. You know what else he said? He told me that he guarantees I'll start feeling better once he arrives. Maybe he not, not believe me either? I'm not going crazy. I know I'm not. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I am because this isn't this is, didn't start to happen until I got that ring. I don't know why this is happening, but I think Simon does, and he won't tell me. The sound of, of a door opening can be heard. Hospital doctor. Must and your fiance is here. Recording device falls onto the bed. Dash one can now only be partially seen from the chest down. It is dressed in a hospital gown, but no injuries appear to be present. Oh, thank God, Simon! 
video title, Mary Hospital Update. Please watch in parentheses. Upload date, March 8th, 2019. Transcript from 0 to 141. SCP-4168-2. Dash 2 waves to, to the camera with a wide grin. Hey everyone, sorry about the videos Mary uploaded. I know you all are really very concerned. As soon as I got here, she started feeling better. I'm pretty sure all the stress is planning the wedding has just gotten to her, if you know what I mean. I really hate that she ruined the surprise, though. She knew how much I, I wanted us to reveal it to you all together. SCP-4168-2 laughs. Because of my sweet angel's condition, we will both be taking a break from social media. When we're back, Mary will be in much better shape, I promise. See ya soon. Oh my god. I dash, dash 2 is a bit abusive. A bit? <laughs> okay, abusive. <laughs> they literally trapped Ooh. their fiancé. Uh -huh. And then them dash 2. SCP-4168. Dash 1 and Dash 2 were brought into Foundation custody on March 13, 2019. After initial testing, Dash 1 and Dash 2 were interviewed separately on March 25, 2019. Interviewed Dash SCP-4168-2 Interviewer Dr. Candy Dots. Forward Dash 2 was quite questioned on its thoughts on containment and its anomaly. Begin log. Dr. Dots. Hello, SCP-4168-2. How are you today? SCP-4168-2. Hmm, let's see. I've been kept in prison with no, with no basic human rights. You insist on torturing my fiancé because I guess you just want to see what happens. I'll never be able to update my fans. I have a dream wedding. Oh, and the food sets. Seriously, who does the cooking in this place? Rats that scurry along the hallways or something? We're not here to discuss the food. We are here to, we are not torturing her. We're simply collecting tests to see the extent of the damage that occurs when she isn't with you in SCP-4168. Last time she was gone for five days. You could have killed her. We conclude that she was not in danger of death despite her injuries. That is one of the things we wanted to see. We're simply studying this is, is all. Yeah, well, if you do it again, I'll break your fucking skull open. She needs me. Uh. You know how dangerous it is for her to be apart from me? Also, why can't she be awake for this? SCP-4168-2 crosses its arms. We're used to doing these things together. You know, you're in a sweet cheeks duo, you know. Well, because we wanted to talk with just you. We like to interview subjects separately, if possible. Good for you, but not part particularly interested in talking with you. You know everything you need to know. And if you're going to ask me about the ring again, quite frankly, it's none of your business. Well, considering this foundation studies anomalies and this ring causes anomalous effects to occur, I think it's fair to say it is very much our business. But we're not going to force you to tell us. <laughs> oh, so you're saying your super secret evil science foundation doesn't have ways of making people talk. Oh, wow, I'm so impressed. You're going off topic, Dash 2. I'm trying to ask you about your thoughts on all this. You are angry about her being hurt, but she's away from you. From what we've concluded, this has not happened until you gave her the ring. Were you aware of its anomalous effects while purchasing it? I told you I'm not telling you anything about it. I'm done here. End log. Closing statement. SCP-4168-2 refuses to continue speaking, leading the interview to conclude. The only people I can think of uh, purchasing this type of ring, I think, would be Marshall Carter and Dark. I can't quite hear you. Yeah. Interviewed SAP 4168-1. Interviewer Dr. Candy Dots. Forward Dash 1 was questioned on his thoughts on containment and its anomaly. Begin log. Dr. Dots. Hello, SCP-4168-1. How are you today? 
SCP-4168-1 is silent for five seconds before speaking. Not too great. A little, er, uh, a lot shaken up. Still in pain, but I mean... Dash one chuckles dryly. You knew that. I'm sorry for what you have to experience, Dash one. Article is not to harm or torture you. But to simply study your newfound condition. I understand. I mean, I actually would like to know more about this. By any chance, um, did Simon tell you where he, about where you got this ring? I'm sure you would have picked out a different one if he had known what was going to happen. Unfortunately, all our attempts to get him to open up about the origin of 4168 have fallen short. We were hoping that you had some information regarding that. A look of confusion forms on Dash One's face before letting out an unsure laugh. Wait, 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 he, he refused to tell you? Dash One shakes his head. It's not right. I mean, he said he didn't tell me because he said he didn't want to spoil the surprise or ruin the magic. But you're doctors. I don't understand why he wouldn't tell you what you need to know. Especially if I wasn't awake to hear it. That is correct. He was given, he has given us no information on where he got it. Are you sure he didn't say anything to you about where he got it? Did the bag or box have a label? SCP-4168-1 began body began to tremor. It then shakes its head. No, no, no! That's impossible. I just don't understand why he wouldn't tell you. I mean, the only reason he wouldn't tell you if he had something to hide. That's ridiculous. I, I, I mean, he, he sees what this is doing to me. SCP-4168-1 gripped the size of his head with its hands. I, I, I mean, he knows what this rat did to my baby. He wanted to be a dad. You could at least consider that. Oh, no! I mean, I really must be going crazy to even consider the fact that he did this on purpose. Why would he put you in pain like this? He wouldn't do this to me. You're just lying to me. It seems you're getting worked up. I'm going to call this to a close for today. No, you're not. SCP-4168-1 stands up. You're going to answer me, and you're going to do it now. There's something you're hiding from me about this, and I just want to know what it is. We've told you everything we know, SCP... Mary! Okay, we've told you everything we know, Mary. We don't know much more than you do. That is why you're here, so we can learn more about it, and maybe even try to help you. Help me? You're not the one who can help me right now. Dash 1 turns to the bed, Dash 2 is reciting on, grabbing both of its arms, beginning to shake its entire body. Simon, Simon, wake up. You, you, you hear this crap. They're not telling me everything, and they're trying to manipulate me. Dr. Dots quickly restrains Dash 1, pulling it away from Dash 2, but still within two meters. He can't hear you, Mary, but no, we are not lying to you. But what would we gain, what would we gain from, this, from that in this situation? You came up with the conclusion that him not telling us means he did this to you on purpose, on your own. I never said anything to suggest that. But, but you had to, right? No, no. I would never come up with that on my own. That, that, that would be betraying him. To, to think he, he would never hurt me. He, he said he would never hurt me. And I believed him. Dash one begins to cry. Or at least I did. End log. Closing statement. Once Dash one finished speaking, it began to hyperventilate. Passing out. Soon after, Dash 1 was quickly attended to by on-site nurse. He is having trauma related to the baby she lost. Yep. And did him Dash... Oh, sorry. Yeah. This is already getting baby. fucked up. Did him Dash 3. On March 29th, 2019... Dash 2 began to distance itself further than required for decomposition <clears throat> effects to not occur. Dash 2 was, was told to not distance itself further than required, but refused to cooperate. Interviewed Dash 2. I mean, SCP-4168-2. Interviewed Dr. Candy Dots. Forward, on March 30th, 2019, Dash 2 was interviewed to discuss its recent change in behaviors. Dash 1 and Dash 2 had been handcuffed together to prevent Dash 2 from separating itself from Dash 1 during the interview. Begin log. Dr. Dutz, 
Hello, SCP-4168-2. We would like to discuss your recent behaviors regarding not following our instructions of staying within 2 meters of Dash 1. SCP-4168-2. Yeah, I'll show you the deal. Yes, that is why I am conducting this interview. We noticed that you did not do this when you first came to us. We are interested in, in your motives for the sudden change in attitude. Simple, well, that was cruel. Nothing more, nothing less. Simple as that. It doesn't seem that simple. From what we observed previously, your goal is to protect Dash 1. Or at least it was. You mentioned you got in a fight. What was your motivation for, for these changes of behavior? <laughs> oh, man. You really don't get it. You know, for being a doctor at this big prestigious institution, whatever you call it, you're not that bright. I'm still protecting her. A fight wanted to tear me from that. I don't follow. You're protecting her by allowing her to decompose. How is that protecting her? Throws his hand up in frustration with a laugh. <laughs> Am I seriously the only one that understands? I know it's best for Mary. Not her, not you, me. Ever yeah. since, ever since we met, I've been trying to convince her of that. Mary has always been a little sick in the head, you know? She always wanted to be around me. She, she always got scared that I was going to leave her or some shit. One minute she loves me, and the next I'm horrible. I mean, you know how she was in her past relationships. Those guys couldn't stand her. Plus, they were always disturbed by her self-harm habit, too. You know, it freaks out a guy out that you threaten to hurt yourself if they leave you. But fortunately for her, I understood her. I want to be there for her, since she was so afraid about separation. I mean, sure that we can never be apart. I don't understand how that has to do with your personally... This is saying yourself from her, so she's decomposed. You must understand that it's painful her. Duh. Do you want to know what the fight was about? She said you told her that I wouldn't talk about where I got the ring. She said that she started to think I knew what it would do to her. She accused me of trying to hurt her. I told her that I got this, this ring not just for her, but for us. I said I loved her so much I was willing to do something that would inconvenience me just for her. You know what that ungrateful bitch said? She said this isn't what she meant. She said being around me has caused more pain than when she's not around me. She said that I did love her, but I love her so much that I'm willing to diss myself for her so she understands that the true pain is being apart from me. Maybe then she'll finally appreciate everything I've given up for her. SCP-4168-2 grabs the arm of the sedated SCP-4168-1, shaking its whole body. You hear that, Mary? I love you. I love you more than anything, and I've gotten myself into this hell. Just to prove it. SCP-4168-2 stands up, grabbing the sedated SCP-4168-1. Maybe if you appreciate me a little more, we wouldn't be in this mess. How long is it going to take for you to understand, huh? Do I have to allow you to decompose alive? I thought you're not... Not for you to get it. Dr. Dots, with the help of an agent on standby, quickly seduces and states SCP 4168 2. End log. Closing statement. Due to SCP 4168 2's continued refusal to comply with containment protocols, it was decided that from March 30th, 2019 onward, SCP 4168 1 and SCP 48. 160-2 are to be handcuffed together at all times. Update C containment procedures. Update April 3rd, 2019. Okay, so we have more than one person, like the images. This, but first, before we do the Creative Commons license, we look at the anomaly. You're going to be happy about this image, Jerry. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I will. Oh, 
There we go. That's what I wanted from that. Yeah. That's my opinion on fiance. <laughs> Perfume. Also, weirdly, You know what? I have to mark it as a four somehow because while the decay is accurate, I feel like it's an excuse to flash her tips and the magnets yeah. are not accurate. Oh, wait. I also realized. You see how I have blonde hair in the, in the thumbnail? Yes. If we go back up here. Oh, yeah. She has brown hair there. Wait, yeah, she's a dirty blonde. Yeah, she's a dirty blonde, not pure blonde hair in the thumbnail. What do you think of my opinion on say? <laughs> nope. I see it. <laughs> yeah. I understand. Yeah. Awesome. Also, Booker, what do you think about that anomaly? <clears throat> if you're still here. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, I do agree with the clickbait thumbnail as a four. Because nowhere in the article did it also talk about maggots. Because the maggots aren't part of it. <laughs> yeah. Same as Jerry, all the red flags. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized they're going to make it worse in the video. Oh, bookworm. Uh... Right, why don't you show Bookworm the, the picture I clipped specifically to express how much of a red flag that the fiancé is. I, I just it's sent a good it. Image. All right. So while Bookworm looks at that, we'll see if it has the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It only has Deanna Berry. But if we go back, there is a certain other person. Oh! Granted, it's a... Authors. Yep. Oh. Well, it wasn't an... Well, it is the author, but it's for the it's for the couple P JPEG. But still, and it's also a different Creative Commons license. It's not the three point It's the zero CC zero. So it's a different license. But in here, it's only three point So, okay, yep. let's see how bad it gets. Yep. That's perfect, says Bookworm. About the picture. Anyways, everyone ready? Yeah. Wait a minute. If we just... I want to look at the girl again. Yeah, they're mainly almost completely flat-chested. But if we look at her... <laughs> They wanted her to have bigger bitties. Like, I didn't want to be sexualized. I was just like, wait a minute, something seems off. So I went to look back. They gave her big, bigger boogles. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't instead want to of sleep. Having, instead of having a little water, she has a water cooler. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to look at her. For, I just noticed something was off and looks back. All right, then let's get on with the video. 
I'm super excited. Can you guys believe it? Your favorite girl is gonna be married. But for real, does anyone have any idea what's going on with these abscesses? Like, I know I'm not supposed to be revealing this, but I really can't wait. We're pregnant. Is this a possible side effect? Simon just keeps saying I'm overreacting, but I feel like this isn't normal. Am I right? Anyway, gotta hop off for now. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, there's also something else now I noticed. You see how her skin tone is? Yeah. She actually has a similar skin tone to me. She's full on pure white. But if we go here, her skin's darker. I think to be more exact, her skin tone is Irish white. Yeah, Irish white, yeah. There are people who are whiter than you. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I just thought to say that. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, they made her not Irish white. Yeah. The decomposition had gone worse. She was beginning to fear for her life. But Simon just kept telling her she'd feel better when he was there. It didn't make sense to her how or why that would make a difference, but his certainty and lack of concern was somehow reassuring. She looked in the mirror. It had been three days since she had last seen Simon, and already the skin around her ribcage had receded away to partially expose her beating heart. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-4168, Decomposing Love. I'm not seeing anything. Look closer. There. Did you see that? I could have sworn I saw a hole in her arm. Seriously? I don't see a darn thing. Are you, you sure you're reading the case file right? Videos. That's pretty smug. And a little insulting. Look, it says right here, decomposition is only visible in the physical presence of the subject. Uh-huh. Shut it. Chen and Kloss walked into the hospital room. The woman laid in the bed. As they approached, they had a closer look at her injuries. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Kloss, and this is Agent Chen. Agent? I got a doctor being here, but what's an agent? We're not from the hospital. We represent a different organization. An, an organization that specializes in cases like yours. Oh, okay. Well, I hate to say you've wasted your time, but I'm feeling much better. This is better? I can see your ribs. You should have been here yesterday then. You could have held my heart. So, you mean to say you're healing? Mm-hmm. Since Simon came back, just like you said. And Simon is... My fiancé and my YouTube partner. Have you seen our channel? It's called the Sweet Cheeks Duo. Yeah, no. We haven't got time for YouTube. Well, you should. You could be quite popular there, Agent Chen. Wait. You have that look, you know? Uh, well, I, I, now that you mention it, I have been her. told that I have a face for TV. Who yeah, told you that? Someone. Ring, Who? Why do you care? As so they continued talking, Simon away. walked into the room. There he is! That's my bae! Hey, babe. Oh my god. Wait a minute. He doesn't look like that. Yeah, they whitewashed him. He's supposed to look thinner. His beard isn't that messy. Not nearly that messy. I'm sorry. A guy doesn't need to be fat to look masculine. Yeah. And you're right. They whitewashed him. Yeah. And oh I'll... my god! You didn't notice that? That's why I said, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you just well, noticed that. I have no defense besides that I do not look for boob. <laughs> I'm a gay man, so I guess you gotta figure I do. But I guess he always makes sure you see the boob. <laughs> Dunno, really. They're from some company that deals with weird conditions like mine. Simon looked at Kloss and then to Chen his eyes focusing on the weapon at his hip. 
He threw the coffee at Chen and sprinted out the room. What? For crying out, I just had this cleaned. Chen put his hand to his ear. Kripke, we got a runner. Seal off the entrances and exits. I'm in pursuit. Chen walked out the door and into the hallway. Sir, we've got men stationed on all the exits. So far, nothing. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm heading down the emergency stairs. Chen pushed the door open and peered down the walkway. A few flights below him, Simon stopped and raised his head to look up. His eyes wide in shock. Just stop. I don't want to chase you and I'm all sticky already. Simon turned his head back and continued running down the winding staircase. With a sigh, Chen pulled out a small gun from within his vest. He carefully took aim, waiting for the sights to light up. The sh of an SCP and it makes me uncomfortable. That was a joke. Yeah. But it does remind me of a certain SVP. Yeah. Feels a bit too endless. Mm-hmm. Shot rung out silent, the dart hitting Simon in the neck. He looked up, stunned. He wobbled and collapsed. The door adjacent to him burst That's open. Cool, it was Kripke. What was that? Fair he hit the guy with the tranquilizer. Yeah, also, I hate the crotch thing. It bothers me every time I see it. <laughs> I'm not sure why they have a giant metal crotch. <laughs> he, he looked up at Chen. Nice shot! You know it. Cuff him and wait outside. Chen made his way back to the hospital room. But by the time he arrived, only Kloss was left, sitting in a chair. What happened? Got him. He's in the van. The girl? Medivac, Site 17. You learn anything else from her? Recently engaged, also pregnant. Uh, she seems to decompose when she's away from Simon, but when they reunite, it reverses it. So, he's an SCP. Perhaps? We'll find out more at the Foundation. No, no, we'll what is this? Why'd you have to sedate her? Yeah. Also, we don't know the gender of Candy, do we? What was that? We don't know the gender of Dr. Candy. Oh, uh, yeah. Her. She isn't being harmed. We just find it easier to get straight answers when we're only talking to one person at a time. Whatever. This is illegal. You're breaking our rights. What are you doing to Marie? What? Me? I'm not doing anything. In fact, I'm saving her. She'd be nothing without me. What does that mean? Marie's always been a little sick in the head, you know? She always thinks I'm gonna leave her or something. One minute she's in love, the next she hates me. She's lucky she has someone like me. Someone who understands her. So okay, you did multiple this to interviews. To, to keep her close. To protect her. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no. I didn't do anything. I just know what's best for her. Got it? I'm done here. Let me go. Anesthetize SCP-41682 and wake up SCP-41681. What? Don't you? The shot rung out as a dart hit his neck. Mike. Not again. He slumped over. They wanted to use anesthetics because that could jeopardize some memories. What? Where am I? Relax, Marie. You're in good hands. Where's Simon? Is he okay? He's fine. He's just behind you on the bed, sleeping. Oh, okay. Do you understand why we have to keep him near? I think so. When we're apart, I begin to decompose. That's right. Do you know how this happened? I... I'm not sure. It started a few days ago, after we shot our last video. Oh, there's Simon the ring. wanted to surprise me. Your engagement? No, that was a few weeks before. It was a Valentine's gift. It was sort of odd. And that's when all this started. Wait, are you implying that Simon did this to me? He would never! We didn't imply anything. The ring. He gave me this ring. Are you sure? Are you sure this is when it started? Yes, it's the ring. But why? Why would he do this to me? 
We'll need to speak with Simon again. You guys, enough with the tranquilizer darts. You keep this up, and you and me are going to have a real problem. You have a problem with him, you have a problem with me. Got it, tough guy? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Tell us about the ring. The ring, forget the ring. Why? Because it's what's causing Marie to decompose when she's not around you? You don't understand. None of you do. Only I do. She doesn't get that I did this for her. I inconvenienced myself for her because I love her. I love her that much. She needs to understand that true pain is being away from me. Then she'll appreciate all I've done for her. He grabbed her and screamed at her unconscious body. You get it, Marie, huh? Do ya? I did this for you, for us. But she won't ever know this. All she needs to know is that she's with me now forever. So if either of you two get any ideas and try to tell her the truth again, maybe also, I'll just walk away, eh? Then there won't be... Huh? She was talking like she was still pregnant. Yeah, that too. He, he... They cut out the part where he caused her to lose her child. Also, before uh, we continue... Uh, brother, brother, uh, what's that? What's that? What's that, what's that brother? brother? I played a new sound alert for some of these videos, which is Brother, you? yeah, where, where it, it's calling the situation in video ew. What is that? It's like, oh, yeah. <clears throat> Think Booker agrees with me using that one. Yeah. All right, ready to continue. Yeah. Don't be any Marie. Her eyes slowly opened, looking up at him. What? There won't be any need to tell her, Simon. She isn't anesthetized. He looked at Kloss with a confused what? look on his face. He slowly turned his head to see Marie staring into his eyes. SCP-4168 is a ring with a heart-shaped opal stone. SCP-4168's anomalous properties currently only manifest when worn by SCP-4168-1. SCP-4168-1 is a 23-year-old woman named Marie Ang. SCP-4168-2 is a 24-year-old man named Simon Langson. SCP-4168-1 experiences decomposition of the body, starting with the heart, if either SCP-4168-2 is not within 2 meters, or if SCP-4168 is not worn. If SCP-4168-1 is wearing SCP-4168, but is not within 2 meters of SCP-4168-2, it will still experience decomposition, and vice versa. The injuries caused by SCP-4168 can only be viewed on film or video. Two, two, two inconsistencies in the source material. We have made adjustments. What inconsistency? <laughs> Did they just out themselves? Uh, Did they just call the SB writer bad? I... I think they did, even though they're the bad writers. I'm sorry, Mr. Lucius, but you suck. <laughs> yeah. Don't make excuses. You just suck. Watch, this This is probably going to show up in every SCP video now. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like this should be clipped just as a memorable, memorable thing where they just made it. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> it's funny as shit. Anyways. Yo, by SCP 4168 1. For others to witness SCP 4168's effects, said individuals must be in the physical presence of SCP 4168 1. Upon being questioned... Oh yeah, also they're not handcuffed. Yeah... SCP-4168-2 has refused to reveal any information about the origins of SCP-4168, only briefly making statements that led researchers to conclude that it was aware of SCP-4168's anomalous properties prior to gifting it to SCP-4168-1. 
SCP-4168-1 and SCP-4168-2 are to be kept in a humanoid containment cell modified for the cohabitation of two individuals in Site-17. SCP-4168 is to remain in the care of SCP-4168-1, except for testing purposes. Update. As of 30th March 2019, due to SCP-4168-2's uncooperative nature pertaining to the containment protocols, SCP-4168-1 and SCP-4168-2 are to be handcuffed together except for testing periods. Update. As of 3rd of April 2019, due to SCP-4168-2's continued violent tendencies towards SCP-4168-1, it is what to remain fact? in a medically induced coma for the foreseeable future. SCP-4168-1 and SCP-4168-2 are still to remain handcuffed together at all times, in the case that SCP-4168-1 shows refusal of following containment protocols. Gaslighting, ghosting, relationships can be confusing at the best of times. When something doesn't feel right, take a step back and listen to the concerns of those closest to you. It may not be all that it seems. As always, have a care. Why in the fuck? How do you feel about that? I thought they would make it more violent, to be honest. Well, they still technically added violence. But not as much as I would thought. Did we have the added violence at 2 or 3 instead of 4 then? Yeah, probably. Because I was thinking he would, they would show, you know, the assault. True. All right, removal of characters. They removed the only doctor in the article. Yes, they did. They removed the only doctor. And they messed up the license. License. Yeah, that's up. a four. Yeah. Neither put in everyone. Yes. Anyways, added gore or violence. I think we both said that's a three. Yeah. It's not super bad. All right, deviates from the plot of the article. Three? Yeah, I guess they but kept they some. They a lot, but not completely. Yeah, they just. Oh wait, they didn't show some of the videos, like. That's correct. They and the interview logs. They got messed. It mixed okay, up. Four, four, four. Yeah. That's fair. They, they threw out a lot of shit. Just because they didn't do some crazy shit like what they did with the doctor doesn't mean it doesn't count. Yeah. Alright. Only men in video slash offensiveness. We don't know the gender of the doctor, but they cut out the doctor. Yeah. And they weren't really offensive either. Race swap the oh yeah they guy. yeah they did race swap I forgot about that we, we have to at least put that at a three yeah not a four but not at like a two because maybe a two or two but a three is also good I just don't see it at a one or a four if that makes sense ten percent. Uh, our best one tonight! <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Ever since we added the offensiveness, the, the, the personages have been dropping. <laughs> I think we both know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>